Educating Josh. Hello, welcome to this week's edition of Educating Josh, um, the best place on the internet to be educated. Yes, and we don't even charge £9,000 tuition fees, so have some of that. On the show this week uh, is uh, singer Kyle Letman. Yeah, um, UK R&B soul singer. Indeed, um, who is going to be talking a little bit about his new track, Moving Too Fast. So, um, without further ado... Yes, let's welcome to, to the, the show. Well, Kyle, Kyle Letman. Hey, fellas. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's up, Rat? How's it going? Good to see you, Rat. Yes. Nice to meet you, Josh. Yeah, nice to meet you, Carl. Educate you, you want to educate you on some stuff? Please do. Please do. <laughs> he uh, needs all the help you can get. Okay. Q&A. So yeah, no, I was just wondering uh, what the inspiration was behind your new track. Uh, what, what made you want to sort of uh, sample the Alpha Dodger classic that I remember from, from school days? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, just wondered. Um, well, there's a certain nostalgia about songs like that now. So, um, it, I feel like in music it's healthy to kind of go back sometimes to go forward. Mm. So that song was a classic in itself, and we just thought, you know, what, when I heard this, when we heard the sample of that on the, the instrumental, it just it, it fit really perfectly into what we wanted to do, yeah. um, which is you know pay respects to the past while we move towards the future. So and then you know we got Scorcher involved as well, which was a, another huge bonus to to us, mm. um, and he really likes the song, so he blessed it. Awesome. And, um, yeah, man, it's just a case of reminding everyone, isn't it? Because like, I kind of feel like, not that the song's died or anything like that, but it's just, as soon as you hear it, it brings back that, oh yeah, mm. that's my full touch up. That's yeah, crazy, yeah. do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's basically what we went for with that. What I was also wondering was if there was any time that you've needed to use the words, whoa, this is moving too fast in a mm. relationship. Yeah. <laughs> is there any sort of personal, you know? Yeah, yeah access I mean, all areas, this one. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, I, I love this, I love it, I love it. Like, um, don't hold back. Um, yeah, do you know what? Yeah, of course, so there's been, um, I've been in a situation where I, I, I felt like maybe we need to, to slow down a little bit, you know? Because someone, you know, you, you're seeing someone mm. and everything's fine, mm. and that person starts to suggest things like, children and marriage yeah. and it's like so uh so when am i going to meet your parents that will probably help yeah. <laughs> in between this do you know what i mean so yeah but yeah. maybe someone's had to use it on you i don't know don't want to be on side. Nah, I'm, do you know what it is that, hey i'm a laid back i'm laid back so it's like i like to take things kind of slow in it which is a great a huge contradiction to the song <laughs> but like just like maybe in my personal life, I'm a bit more reserved. So. What was it specifically about Scorcher that th you thought, you know, I really want to get him involved in the track? Because you could have picked from a load of MCs mm. that, are, that are really popping off at the minute, but That's you know, we know Scorcher as a talented MC. Um, so what made you choose him? I felt like it was one of those things that were meant to be, as opposed to, you know, we had a choice of a bunch of different MCs and thought, let's choose this one. Yeah. It wasn't like that specific, it was very much like, oh, what about Scorcher? Yeah. Oh, I know his people. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, good. And then everything worked out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was more like that. And another artist that you've just, I say work with, but you've just come off supporting is Omari. Oh, Tell yeah. us a bit about how that went and, and what happened hmm. around that. Well, what people may not know is that um, I, I've kind of come into contact with Omari before because I used to be in a group. And um, along our travels, we came into contact with Amarion and we've actually supported him on a UK tour before. Okay. Mm. So um, I kind of felt like progression is, you know, me doing a solo, me being in my solo career and supporting Amarion as well is like, oh yeah, so he's moved up to level two and... <laughs> <laughs> we, we read somewhere that um, Pixie Lot is a bit of a fan of yours. So. <laughs> how, how does that affect your life in any way? Does it affect your wow. life? Does it? <laughs> Let's just say that um, to do the Omari show, they kind of entered us into a competition where people had to vote for us. Yeah. Let's just say that Pixie Lot saying Kyle Letman shot our vote through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and um, like for me, that gave me like the biggest head for like five minutes where I was just like, yeah, yep. nobody talk to me. No one look at my face. Because <laughs> I felt like, you know, uh, you know, yeah, as, as you would. Multi, you know, multi-platinum selling artist says your name. Yeah. And it says you know, yay, you know, support this guy. So mm. yeah, like that blew me away. I felt like 
it was such an amazing thing for her to do mm. so it was very humbling it was such a humbling thing yeah, yeah, yeah. well we've learned a bit about you um, and now we're gonna move on to the part of the show where we test your knowledge and <laughs> okay. play an exciting themed game as we always do okay cool um, what is your knowledge like just to ask about 1980s female relay athletes Wow! I, I, have like you got an, have none. You got any knowledge? None. <laughs> none. <laughs> well, you're about to find out. So what's this space? <laughs> okay. Who's moving too fast? So this section of the show is called Who's Moving Too Fast. We have got Kyle to pick his top three from the 1983 4x100 meters women's world championship final race. A classic. Uh, which is a classic, of course. Everyone knows about that race. Mm -hmm. uh, Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Carl to pick his first, second and third from the runners. We've just shown him who the runners are. Um, so who have you gone for, Carl? Alright, so I'm going to say number one is Jamaica. I'm going to give Great Britain number two because oh. I'm going to hope, I'm hope, I've got hope in okay. my heart. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I'm going to give number three to France because, you know, their neighbours. We're going mm. to support them. We're going to support them. In this. Alright, cool. Okay. They go on the second time of action, asking, and the Russians got away well. Also going well on the outside is John Baptiste for Great Britain, oh, and Canada is. going well as well. <laughs> <laughs> Baptiste and Kathy Cook, two club mates, they've got a beautiful change the first time, they're right on the limit, but it's okay. Great Canada is absolutely flying. So Look at Canada, oh my doing word. Doing well. <laughs> Beth Canada now takes over for Great Britain. And go on, Great Britain, show them the legs. Oh, it's wow, the speed! It's Germany. <laughs> Is East Germany? Yeah. It's East Germany leading. It's second place in the Soviet Union. Great Britain closing to Shannon Thomas. Come on, Great Britain! Go on, Great Britain! Show them! Great Britain was second, right? Yeah, I think it looks like So you had the winners were East Germany, second place, Great Britain, and third was Jamaica. In there! Pretty impressive. Thank you! Are you sure you haven't seen this before? No, I haven't! I would have definitely said Germany if I'd seen it before. Canada is absolutely flying! So I hope you found that exciting. We sure did. I did, yep. Before we end the show, I want to say thanks a lot for watching. Um, and as always, make sure you subscribe mm -hmm. to Gigsluts TV because then you can get our videos straight away without a delay. Um, hopefully you've been educated very much so. In the music and of Carl Letman. Music of Carl Letman and also 1980s women's running. <laughs> very much Which so. everyone needs to know about. It's a Absolutely. serious issue. Let's go over to Carl's performance. Yeah, which, which I believe we're involved with. Yeah, I think we're going to feature in it. So quite excited about that. Let's check that out. Five, six, seven, eight, go! Oh, they say I'm hitting high speeds. Why? Cause I'm young, fly, full of fast moves. I worked and I suffered till my heart bruised. That's right. Back stronger, there's nothing that I can't do. So I can't lose. I'm on the aim for a high class mansion. I'm moving my march to. Girl, it's real life. This is not a cartoon. You should have known what I'm like from my last tune. The way I'm living my life is with vision to shine. And my decision was right because I make that move like you don't know the heart. And they say I'm moving too fast, but I'm just living more. <laughs> Classic. That's a brilliant. Put clap for Kyle there. He abandoned me I'm on so the micro bit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to give it to you. <laughs> I was just going to make it sound terrible. Well Amazing. done on the beat, though. Yeah, yeah you, you held it. Yeah, um, you heard that. Yeah, you, you, heard heard you held the beat. You held the beat. And well played, sir. Thank you very much. I respect your vocals. Thank, thank, no, thank, you, thank you for backing me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> educate and Josh, stay educated, people. Thank, thank you. you.